Hey everybody, Ed here with the Digital Digest, and today I wanted to share a quick update on my experience with the Sony Cybershot HX400V. This is the successor to the HX300 that I covered last year. It incorporates a 50x optical Carl Zeiss lens that gives you a 35mm equivalency of 24 to 1200 millimeters. But what's more impressive about this update to the HX300, since it does share almost an identical lens, is really all about the sensor, the Bions processor, that latest generation Bions X, uh, and also the fact that we have Wi-Fi, NFC, GPS, and we have a new menu system, in addition to actually uh, the bonus of finally having the sensor brought back to the EVF. So those are just some of the improvements, but the critical one that I'm focusing on here today in this video is all about the Play Memory uh, application store associated with that Wi-Fi functionality that until now has been vacant uh, from pretty much every uh, Cybershot camera because even the RX uh, family that does have Wi-Fi capability does not have access to the Play Memory application store. So here we are looking at uh, the application store, the current available apps uh, for the HX400V. So those of you that are curious, um, right now we're looking at the entire category, or I should say library, uh, Live View Grading, a brand new app uh, that I just I uh, did a video on recently. This is great for those of you interested in actually grading your video on camera rather than having to do that in post. Uh, we've got motion shot, uh, portrait lighting, time lapse, which I've already purchased. Another nice thing about purchasing these apps, even though it may seem like a gimmick at first glance, is that once you've purchased it, it's good across every camera you own. So that's at least what I've learned. Uh, through the maturation process of Sony's Play Memory uh, application store. We've also got Bracket Pro, Light Shaft, Multiple Exposure, the Smart Remote Control, which is of course free, Picture Effects, and then uh, Photo Retouch, Direct Upload, and the Flickr add-on. So this is actually really impressive considering this is at launch, because almost every other camera that Sony has launched with Wi-Fi has struggled to have this sort of support right out of the box. Uh, I can point to the A7 and A7R. Limited app functionality at launch. Here, a Cybershot camera has basically everything. So I just wanted to give this update to let those of you who are curious about what applications were available, also what pricing was like, what was free, you now know. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to post them. And of course, as usual, please feel free to subscribe. Later.